that's weird, man. You're dipping <laughs> saltines <laughs> in. Oh. <laughs> Hello and good morning from the McNeil house. Today is day one of being back at home online all day. Yep. <laughs> it's set up a lot better this time around. Last year it was just this mad scramble, but both boys are doing school from home now. Kieran is downstairs. He has two full three hour classes for the day. Caden, I think, has to log in, get some instruction, do some learning, and then he can go off and do his own thing, but his teacher is still available if he needs help. Not sure how many classes you have. Do you have two classes or more? He doesn't know either. So it's a bit of a learning curve again. It's a little bit hard because it's just not the same. It's a really big switch up from what it was. Both the little girls are at school today because it's Monday and Addie is in kindergarten. The girls will have school right through until Christmas break and then they will be out an extra week after. So they've locked us down. We can't see family. They can't come into our home or anything like that. The boys are making the best of being at home. We'll see how day one goes. I did sourdough again. I don't know if I can say that I did it. I'd have to say that Clancy did it. I got some sort of stomach bug this weekend and so I've just kind of been flat out. And so Clancy took over yesterday because my starter was all ready to use. So he mixed it for me because there's no way I could mix it. I just wasn't feeling strong enough to do that. So he really stepped in and did that for me, which I really appreciated because now today they're just sitting there waiting to be big enough for me to pop into the oven. So that made it so much easier for me. Our Christmas lists have gotten bigger and bigger and bigger and I'm trying to read through them because it is Cyber Monday. And I'm trying to figure out what I can pick up today. So it's a bit of a challenge. Some of them are definite need to get out of the house and go to a regular box store in order to buy them. And that's not exactly in the plan for right now. So I'm trying to figure out what to do and what of these things to get. Sometimes the lists get really, really big, but maybe we don't want to buy all of them. Here's our other online learner. How's it going? I got enough time to make a coffee. He's so excited to be doing school online again. It's not bad, it's better than last time. That's good. That's what I wanna hear. <laughs> it's, you know, it's not every day at school that you can have a break and have a Tim Tam Slam. You know you're supposed to drink it with coffee because oh. then it sweetens the coffee. Mm, <laughs> Just intensely sweet, that's all. I'm bugging him about his nutritionally unsound snack. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, no. That's, oh, that's gross Nutella. <laughs> Liquid Nutella. Ooh, that actually doesn't sound terrible. That's weird, man. You're dipping like saltines in, oh. <laughs> What does it taste like? Chicken. So here is a YouTube challenge for all you YouTubers out there. Saltines and hot chocolate because they taste like fried chicken. I find. I'm not sure anyone else will. So any of you, you people out there watching, any of our McNeil family friends here, you've got to give this a try and let me know. There's no way I'm trying it, especially not today with my stomach hurting. The thought of saltines that is so gross fried chicken fried chicken get homemade fried chicken got my bread out and I'm so excited they're absolutely beautiful. They turned out so well, which is nice when you're not feeling great to have something work out really well. I also kind of got the inspiration to go ahead and make ginger snaps. One of my favorite Christmas cookies. Check out this bread though. Time 
time to go get the girls from school and everything is just a sheet of ice. Like you can just see the shine up the hill there. So far it's been a really mild winter, but it's also been a really odd winter. Like we have no snow, just little patches laying around here and there. It's seven degrees and it's supposed to hit like 15 this week, which is spring weather, even close to summer weather, honestly. <laughs> so this is kind of crazy. I hope it snows because we do need snow and it also tends to be cool enough that the girls have to wear their snow pants outside but when you play outside in snow pants with no snow it ruins your snow pants really fast first day of school at home and school at school is down haven't seen Bailey yet today she was not doing well last night in fact she was rather ill she was really not well last night. I don't think she even ate, and that's one of the concerns that we're having. It's really hard to know what to do some days, and it feels like we're stepping back to like four or five years ago. I don't know whether or not to wake her up. I don't know whether I should just let her rest because maybe she's finally sleeping. I don't know if waking her up and encouraging her to get up and eat will trigger a migraine. It's just a really difficult kind of situation been here before and it's not any easier this time than it was last time. Kato's found a bird video for Nala. Coco's interested too. Hi. You're so funny. Clancy has a really important meeting with work starting in about two or three minutes. It kind of is not the best timing when it's 3.30 because all the kids are home from school or off of school and energy levels are up and whatnot. So my job right now is to keep it quiet. Clancy was such an awesome husband yesterday and he made supper for tonight yesterday because the meat and stuff was thawed out. So all I have to do is warm things up today, which I so appreciate. It's, that's perfect. It's the best part of the school day when these guys are home. Tiggy made the girls a watermelon snack. She pretty much carved out the inside of the watermelon to create two bowls because of I snack. Couldn't, I couldn't cut the watermelon, like the bottom of the watermelon with the knife I was using, so I just cut the outside. It's all good. I appreciate you making snack. And now, Addie, that's really dangerous. Please stop. Thank you. Your hand was too close. Now we're making ginger snaps and we're just waiting for the smell to start hitting us from the oven because it'll smell like Christmas in here. Yeah. First you set the filling out the dough. And then you coat it. In what? In um, white sugar. And do you like ginger snaps? Yeah. Do you? Did I? <laughs> I'm not going to answer that. I think you need to eat one and decide. <clears throat> you have a bite of one? Okay, that, that's very sugared. I think it's plenty sugared. A little extra homework when you had the week off of school, huh? Mm -hmm. Working so hard. A city with deep wells and brightly colored flags and music that played all day and all night. Hebron. Now, oh, how Jotham longed to go with his brothers to see the sights and to smell the smells of a city of wonders. In fact, he could almost taste, I'm going with them? It's always a bonus to get to spend a few minutes with Bailey before we go to bed. She tends to get up late enough that sometimes we barely see her. But tonight she spent a bit of time with us. Still not doing really great, but we both kind of ate something at the same time. <laughs> so it was just nice to have a couple of minutes with her. She just brightens our day. Such a great kid. I'm left with one question this evening. How exactly does one use this? Welcome to owning a cat. I'm going to end the vlog here. It's time to head for bed so that I can get up, get the girls out of bed. Only Tiggy goes to school tomorrow. Everybody else is at home. Thanks so much for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and come back to see our next vlogs. See you soon.